Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London in Milton Keynes and at Urban HQ. I went to their last location, which was literally a stone's throw away, but this is what you call an impressive place. This is just their brand down to a T. Look at their incredible cars in the car park. We've got a G-Wagon Urban here that's just leaving. We've got Urban SVRs and Archie is over there in his new RS6. So I think let's head over there now. Archie, yeah. welcome to the vlog. Ah, oh, welcome to Supercars in London. Ah, welcome to Urban. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've driven past this place a couple of times because I worked with Sia and Cupra, which is the building next door. So I've driven past here a couple of times. How much of a presence does this building have? Like when you're just driving past, you've got this big black building. I mean, how cool is that? 70 plate G63 with the full urban kit. Uh, but we are here, and this is the first time that I've seen your new RS6. Congratulations. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Carbon edition. I've stopped talking about it. I've actually done it. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Tell me why you are here. Um, so today, just, well, the first video um, is uh, choosing the new wheels because I love the RS6, but I've said from kind of day one on my channel that I do really want to modify it. Yeah. Um, send you links on WhatsApp every night and we talk <laughs> about wraps, we talk about oh. wheels, we talk about everything. Exhaust. Um, <laughs> straight pipe it, <laughs> cut the exhaust <laughs> off, you know, that's a joke. Um, but then, uh, yeah, then uh, got in touch with the guys at Boston and we're going to get some, uh, going to get some wheels on the car. Oh, I mean, yeah, they are cool. These are the 22 inch. So really? we, yeah, so these are the 22 inch wheels. You can get 21 inch wheels. So these are the better wheels, but they, uh, yeah, they just change the tires over. It's just going to transform the way that the whole thing looks. I, I mean, just, I just love ruining cars. No, I, t <laughs> I tell you what, no RS6, when it came out, wasn't fussed by it. I thought the old one looked cooler, but until I saw Sam DeHaan's yeah, Sam RS6, DeHaan's, yeah. satin black, Vossen wheels, sat really nice. I'm not doing satin black, by the way. You're not? No. Okay. We'll come I've, done it, I've done it too many times. So the first stage today is the wheels. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think they look good, but it, it blends in with every car on the road. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I, I want to just do something where it's just like, cool. It's cool. Oh, I'm just a cool guy. <laughs> Lenny is here. Of course, this is where you work. All right, mate. Good? Yeah, all good. How are you? You know, finally, he's been quite so long since yeah. I've seen. So, VIP tour then? VIP tour and pool. I've seen. <laughs> I've, seen <laughs> I've seen so many photos yeah. of you here yeah. with some amazing cars. Yeah. And you look flat out. Mate, it's. it's crazy busy at the moment obviously the urban brand is just getting stronger and yeah. bigger and you know when we create masterpieces like this yeah the high lean on yeah you get off that it's not hard to see why but yeah it's, it's good mate but it's good to finally yeah. have you give you a uh, give you a tour well i think it was the all black defender that i saw on your instagram i was like i need to come yeah. up and see and you know what well, since that launch the new defender has gone Gone crazy, you know. We've got three, yeah. We can't build them quick enough, um, so I've got a couple couple more for you to see. I mean, obviously, the black with black. I mean, all my cars have been black with black. Yeah. I love black with black, as I love you. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> when you get a really bit of color into it, so the Gondwana Stone first edition, I just think that looks so good, doesn't it? I love these colors, they're not really yeah. colors that you'd see on no. SUVs or anything. Really. No, it's a Pantheon 3 and Gondwana Stone, their first edition vehicles. But, um, do we jump straight into it? Do we? <laughs> This one, I mean, the amount of colour coding that we've got, I don't think we realise that a lot of the modifications are paint colour coding yeah. um, and the black pack and everything. So the whole car is like stripped apart. These are obviously the, um, the extended arches done in, in Santorini black, all gloss black. Um, the front and rear bumpers are done as well, so that's all black pack. Yeah, because normally from Land Rover, it comes like dull grey plastic. It's, it all yeah, silver, it, it just exactly doesn't look that good. Yeah. These, so that, that's a big part of it, the, the paintwork. And then obviously we've got the you know, urban editions that are, that are made by us. So you've got yeah. 22 inch WX2 urban alloys. Yeah. Black shadow side steps are yeah. our, um, our roof light pod and the rear spoiler at the back. 
and we, we're continuing to bring out more bits and pieces as well, so there will be other components that are that's that's that going to be yeah. Excuse the noise, but obviously it's a work, like working workshop as well. Oh, so it's not really VIP, you haven't shut down your time. No, 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 no. Just for my video. My team technicians, be quiet, we've got a very important call here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that, that's what you know. That's the best thing about Urban is that everything is in house, and apart from our collaboration with Vossen, which is Miami, everything is British made. We've got our own. So cool. Yeah, and there's not many people doing that um, at the moment. You know, all our carbon fibre is made in house. We paint the bits in house. We we also fit them in house. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's good. We control it. We're in control of everything. It's and it gives people the op opportunity to modify their cars. But these are like top tier cars. Yeah, of course. And I think, to me, and my perspective of the Urban brand is it's it's up there with the cars that you work on. Yeah. It doesn't feel like max power. Let's put some big wheels and lower. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's more, yeah, they fit into the cars that you I, work you on. You know, I grew up in the max power era. You know, yeah. I'm 37, so I was in my late teens, early 20s when max power was the biggest thing yeah, in the yeah. car world. Um, and this is just evolved from that. You know, my MD Simon, yeah. he had modified cars, all the Cosies and the RS Turbos yeah. and stuff like that. And, and Without sounding cheesy, we are just car enthusiasts and look at this for a job. I mean, yeah. it's a dream come true. It's just, it's just evolved slightly. Instead of big, crazy body kits, it's carbon fibre and what we, you know, OEM plus. OEM plus. Yeah. I love yeah. that term. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got a few nice, nice little bits in here. Obviously, um, FDRs always are bread and butter cars. They're still really, really, you know, strong for us. And again, carbon fibre front bumper, carbon fibre rear. Carbon bonnet, carbon exterior pack, you know, it changes the look of the car. Yeah. Um, and again, but it, it's not too over the top where it's, you know, it, it's not in your face, with no. it? No. I'd like to see if you could put that in an Land Rover garage and someone would look at it and think, oh, it must be some kind of step, special edition or yeah, something, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Ultra extras to the max. Exactly that, yeah, yeah exactly that. And then obviously our collaboration with um, Yanni, Yanni Mice. <laughs> this is what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> Collaboration with Yanomai, so obviously Nero Design, uh, so this is obviously carbon fibre as well, carbon fibre splits up, arches, rear spoilers, huge, and again, it's just beefed the Eurus out about making it too, too crazy. It's weird to think that this is how a Eurus should look for a product. I know, I know. But the Eurus is such a mad car anyway, yeah. actually, when you see the additional carbon, the road that has the bigger wheels, yeah, everything yeah. is just like, yeah. every, everything can be improved upon. Yeah, you know, as long as you do it right, so how much is this? So this is about sort of 45 to 50 grand on top of the standard vehicle. Yeah. But when you look at that compared to some of our competitors, that's you know, it is, oh, it is really yeah, competitive. Yeah. I'm not gonna name any names, but I'm all this man. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I mean you know, you know, I respect every other modifier, everyone's got their own style and um, and price tag. Yeah. And, and price tag, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you know we've I think we've nailed it with this is awesome. on this thing. But you can see the difference in yeah. the white back, it's, it's just looks so aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, everything is made in the house, this is all carbon fibre. Um, properly cool. And that's yeah. what I love, I think it's so easy to use a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and put it all together yeah. and be like, you're good to go. But yeah. to have it all British, absolutely. under one roof, yeah, yeah, fundamentally. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I've yeah. got five factories about 20 miles down the road, but it's all, you know, yeah. it's all, all, all together. As Proud to be country. British. Yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, you look at the quality of the products as well and how it, how it fits, because I think, you know, even in 2020, there's still a stigma of fitting a body kit to the car because yeah. of the max power days where it's yeah. just wipe the glass yeah. and you just fill it up and stuff. But when you look at the quality of the fit and you know yeah. how it all works together, and when you're doing it on a 200 grand car, it needs to be. It's got to be right. Yeah. And you know, the, the development cost and everything that we put into this, I mean, this is like 48 separate components just for this more effect conversion. And it's on, it just looks so cool. Yeah, this is and <laughs> you should be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do like this. I do like this. I think the fuel bill was. was would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 565 plate, but the aerodynamics of the brick, you know. Just, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously there's so many, you know, the SVR, the Urus, the G-Wagon, you know, they're all the, the super SUVs, but they're all so different. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, when people ask me, what would you rather have out of G-Wagon than SVR, you can't choose. Yeah. They're completely different cars. They're, they're all lined up in your garage. Yeah. Look at it. This is the this is for doing laps around Harris looking at me and Sign me up! <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't
<laughs> I've moved away from the group and I found the boutique. This is where Urban display all of their partners. We've got Nero, we've got Vossen, we've obviously got the detailing stuff here, we've got audio system, steering wheel. This is really where you can come and spec your SUV or your urban car and completely trick out whatever car you bring here. And I have to say, with the phone ringing, that the more time I spend here and the more SUVs that I see, and obviously spending time in my girlfriend's E-Pace, there is something ultra cool about cruising around in something like the new Defender and then tricking it out to make it completely personal to my taste. You've got all of the paint samples. We've also got wraps down here as well. These guys can go to town on the cars and obviously we've seen them do it online, but actually to come to their new headquarters and to see it firsthand with all of their operations going on whilst they work on Archie's RS6, Oh, it's properly, properly tempting. The M2 competition, yes, it is my daily. Is it a good daily? No. Is a Defender a good daily? Space, comfort, luxury, good fuel economy, and something that still looks good on the road. Tick, 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 tick. Successful day. Oh. How cool is this place? Clap the boys in. This place is so cool. The weather sucks, um, but I feel like Coming here, seeing Lenny, seeing Simon, seeing the team. Yeah. I like I haven't seen them in so long, but to come here, see everything that they've do they've been doing, and obviously coming back from the old unit, which was where I visited before, to here and seeing how far the business and the brand has developed is so cool. And then obviously all of the Nero Eurises as well. Some very special guests popped in as well, so we will keep that. Shh. But there yeah, we go. Yeah, no, that is it is what they're doing is amazing, and just as you can see, that's why the business has gone to where it's gone because they're making the best parts, aftermarket parts in this sort of game. And it uh, properly makes, really, really nice people as well. Yeah, yeah. So. It makes me want to buy a car that they can fiddle around with. Yeah. Like, get a Defender or SVR or, <laughs> or even a Urus. Or you could, you could see why people with money go in there buying yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was a G63, <laughs> like, wide body or whatever, like, their, their beefiest body kit. Mm. Customer delivery, a Defender delivery, a Urus collection. It's all go at Urban. Very, very cool. Amazing to visit the place and uh, what this RS6 has been going through as well has been quite interesting shall we say and uh, i will leave it there ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and have a great weekend take care goodbye